Hillary Clinton is focusing on South Carolina this morning, but Bernie Sanders is hundreds of miles away campaigning in Ohio, Michigan, and Illinois. Clinton is making four stops in the state where Democrats vote on Saturday. Nancy Cordes is in Columbia, South Carolina, where Clinton is also thinking about the GOP frontrunner. Nancy, good morning. Good morning. That's right. Republicans are not the only ones who are starting to come to grips with the notion that Trump could be the GOP nominee. Yesterday, the Clinton campaign sent out this fundraising appeal saying everything's coming up Trump, a message meant to scare their supporters into opening their wallets. We do not allow the Trumps of the world to divide us up. Trump has united the Democratic candidates, at yes. least temporarily. I listen to the rhetoric on the Republican side. I don't recognize my country. You know, Senator Sanders and I have been trying to run a campaign based on issues. They run a campaign based on insults. Clinton is camped out in South Carolina, protecting her large lead in the polls here. Hi, how are you? Sanders headed west in search of greener pastures, and he found them. 7,000 people came to hear him speak in Kansas City. Almost 10,000 in Tulsa. I look out at this crowd. I don't think there's any way we're going to lose on Tuesday. The only other candidate drawing crowds this large is Trump. But so far, the enthusiasm has not translated into turnout, which is down on the Democratic side since 2008 in the three contests held so far. And that's a problem for Sanders, who says this all the time. Voter turnout is everything. Our job is to create a high voter turnout. And if there's large turnout, I think we're going to do very well. Translation, Sanders needs his young supporters to hit the polls in record numbers to offset Clinton's advantage with older, more reliable voters. In Nevada, she won seniors by a full 50 points and won the caucus. Senator Sanders, you often say that you want to create the kind of political revolution that President Obama couldn't. Is the fact that turnout is lower a sign that that revolution isn't happening? No, it's a sign that Barack Obama ran an unprecedented and brilliant campaign in 2008. Unprecedented. And even with that unprecedented campaign, though, Obama just barely edged out Hillary Clinton. This time, Gail Sanders says he is going to win several Super Tuesday states and keep pace with Clinton in the delegate count. Okay, thank you, Nancy. We'll see you on Tuesday. Thanks a lot.